Hello there, you remarkably attractive human being you. I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be reviewing the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro. It's not exactly a massive evolution compared with the original Watch S1, but if you fancy slapping a premium smartwatch on your wrist, boasting fancy pants features like temperature measurement and almost a week of battery life, then the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro might just butter your spuds. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now the first question is, what do you actually get in this lovely long box? Well, there's one Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro. You've also got yourself a wireless charging dock and a very chunky user manual that's basically in every language ever conceived. And that's your whack. All right, so skippy forward a couple of weeks. I've been using the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro as my full-time smartwatch all that time. So what do I reckon? Well, as usual with Xiaomi's wearables, that design is premium throughout. You've got a sleek and smart finish, which will basically go with pretty much any outfit from tuxedos to dungarees. It's fairly chunky and it's got good heft to it, that's for sure, just like most premium smartwatches these days. So that's just to be expected, really. And probably the harshest thing I can say about the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro's design is the fact that there's no real evolution over previous models. Like the regular Watch S1, you've got a stainless steel casing and a sapphire screen, so thankfully this thing is still absolutely pristine after a good couple of weeks of being banged about the place. And it's water resistant to five atmospheres as well, so no worries if you want to rock it on your wrist while you have a bit of a paddle, you've got full swim tracking and everything. My review sample right here came with a fluoro elastomer strap. I actually said it right first time, normally I need about a dozen f***ing takes to nail that one. Fluoro elastomer, but as you can see there, you can quickly and easily yank off these straps and replace them with another of your liking. So you can slap on a leather band for a night out on the town, for instance. So to get the most out of your Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro, you will of course want to pair it up with your Bloy. You do so using Bluetooth 5.2 and the Mi Fitness slash Xiaomi Wear app. You can grab this nice and easily from the Google Play Store and apparently it's on Apple's App Store as well. Once you've actually got that app downloaded onto your smartphone, I found that the pairing process was thankfully stress-free. Only took a few minutes and that includes all the usual permissions guff. And thankfully I've had no issues with syncing over the past fortnight as well. There is a manual sync button if they ever do lose connection, but touch wood, haven't had that issue. The app could perhaps be a little bit more helpful when it comes to setting background permissions, but apart from that, all good. And in my time testing out the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro, I've had it paired up with a couple of different smartphones, the Samsung Galaxy Watch S23 and Xiaomi's very own 13 flagship phone. And I found that the pairing process and the general functionality has been the same on both. And also massive kudos to the Xiaomi team for making hopping between different phones as pain-free as possible with this thing. A lot of watches, you've got to fully reset them before you can pair up to a new smartphone. Not so with this wee bugger. You can change a lot of the watch's settings direct through the watch itself, but quite a lot of stuff is also right here in the app. So for instance, you can customise the watch with different faces, you can play around with all the different settings including are calls allowed, which apps can actually send you notifications. And you can activate lots of other features such as the advanced sleep tracking, the 24 hour heart rate monitoring, etc. And here is also where you can update the watch. Now that AMOLED display is ever so slightly bigger than the original S1 watch at a mighty 1.47 inches with even skinnier bezels surrounding the screen. And it's a 480 by 480 pixel resolution, so supremely crisp. Even the tiniest little widgets on watch faces are clearly legible. So the only real limitation is your eyesight. You've got lots of different watch faces that you can choose between. You can store quite a few of them on the actual watch itself as well. And I found that there's a really good balance between classic and modern, analog and digital, simple and oh blimey what the f is going on there. If you jump back into that Mi Fitness app and hit watch faces in the settings, this is where you can download dozens and dozens more. These are all your local ones, hit online and this is where you'll find some fresh options. Just select a category and away you go. And yeah, there's definitely not nearly as many watch faces here on the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro compared with the Pixel Watch or one of those Samsung Galaxy watches. But there's plenty to keep things spicy over time. There's something to basically suit all tastes. Now, I think that the user interface on Xiaomi's watches has improved considerably over time. I really like how simplified and stripped back it is while still packing in everything you basically need. So if you swipe left and right, you basically scroll through all of the main widget pages. And I really like how you can fit multiple widgets onto a single watch screen as well, which is really, really good. It means you're not having to swipe 10 or 11 times to get through all of your widgets that you've got on there. These widget pages are fully customizable through the watch itself. You can change up the layout. You can have a single widget on a screen if you want. Otherwise, you can have either three or four. Just select exactly what widgets you want and away you go. 
lots of different ones to choose from as you can see there. And if you want to, you can simply remove a widget screen or add in new ones. You can scroll either way through your widgets and if you do swipe right from your main watch face, this brings up the Alexa widget, more on that in a bit. Meanwhile, you can swipe down to access your notifications, they appear in a big long list. I've generally not had any jip from these, occasionally it takes a little while for one to ping through onto your watch after it hits your smartphone, but generally it's simultaneous. All you can do is basically check out what the notification is, so you can decide whether it's worth pulling your phone out of your pocket to actually respond to it. Otherwise you can dismiss it and that's basically it. And then finally if you swipe up from that main watch face you've got fast access to a bunch of toggles. So for instance find my phone, the alarm mode, the do not disturb mode. And if you happen to be enjoying a bit of music or a podcast or whatever on your smartphone you've got fast media controls here as well so you can pause and play your media, you can also skip a track. And if you just give that media tab a quick tap then you've got the full controls including the volume support. And the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro also has a couple of physical buttons here on the edge, one of which is the rotating crown, which allows you to skip through menus and the like as well. If you give this a poke, it will wake up your watch and it will also then bring up all of your different apps. If you actually enjoy venturing into the great outdoors, where well, you've got quite a few tools packed onto the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro that you might get on with. And by the great outdoors, I don't mean a quick ramble on Wimbledon Common, I mean actual wilderness miles away from the nearest Greggs or wine cellar. Basically the kind of thing I avoid as if it's James Corden. So for instance you've got yourself a bit of barometer action if you want to check out what today's air pressure is doing and also a bit of altimeter? Altimeter? Not sure if I'm saying that right. You've got a compass or the usual fair. You've also got dual bands of GPS as well which usually only takes a few seconds to lock on a signal once you start doing a bit of a walk or a jog and certainly seems accurate enough from the little bit of trekking and stuff that I've done. And you've also got yourself a built-in speaker and microphone as well which is pretty handy if you want to take calls via the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro or even record little messages for yourself. There's one here from last night apparently. Hey sober Chris, this is drunk Chris from last night. You f***ing suck dude. Sort out your life man. What you think you're a YouTube superstar? You're a f***ing cock knocking spunk all, man. Absolutely. And you can also use the watch's built-in microphone to directly ask Alexa a question such as When are Sunderland Football Club playing their next match? As much as I wish I did support Real Madrid, that's not quite right, let's try that again. When are Sunderland Football Club playing their next match? And there we go, boom! Now for the past week or so Alexa has been working really well here on the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro, nice and quick and responsive, you know the mic seems to have no problems picking up my voice even in quite noisy environments. However prior to that it was a pretty patchy experience to say the least, quite often I would flick to that Alexa widget and would just say connecting and stick on that forever. And also as you can see there I don't actually get any voice responses out of the watch, it's only text that appears on the screen, not sure what's going on there, if I should be getting the voice responses even, it's just not working even with the volume turned all the way up to max. You do also have NFC support on the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro for making wireless payments, here in the UK very limited support, although Curve Card was supported. Unfortunately I couldn't actually get this set up at all because I just kept getting error messages when I tried to do it via the app so I haven't been able to test that out. And yes, you've got the usual array of fitness tracking apps here on the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro as well, stuff like 24 hour heart rate tracking and SPO2 monitoring. By the looks of it, I must really enjoy doing these videos, I've got a couple of spikes right there. And this watch also offers up a skin temperature sensor, although this does tend to fluctuate a lot depending on the ambient temperature or kinds of stuff. And remember earlier how I said there were two buttons here on the edge of the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro, well a quick pull of that bottom one brings up the workouts app. And this is loaded with over a hundred different types of exercises, ways to flap your limbs about and generally burn off calories. And chances are pretty good that whatever you're into, it's supported here on this watch. Even a bit of frisbee, so that's students sorted then. And when you find your chosen exercise, basically just give that a little tap and off you go. And it tells you exactly how long you've been doing it for, how many calories burned, and then also distance covered if you're, for instance, walking or running. You can also check out your current pulse. If you swipe left, then you've got your full media controls. Great news if you're pounding the pavement while listening to some motivational tunes or whatever. And a swipe the other way allows you to pause or end your workout. You can check out your daily stats right there on the smartwatch including calories burned, how many steps you've covered, how many hours you've actually been standing, that's a massive total for me today. 
And you can even check out your workout history if you're so inclined, see exactly what you've been up to. So certainly for casual exercises such as myself, the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro will basically do what you need it to do. Anyone who's a bit more serious about their keep fit routines and all the rest of it might be more tempted by something like a Garmin, however. And also it would have been great to have some quick like 10 minute hit routines or something like that led by the watch. And oh yes, if you're into your sleep tracking, well, of course the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro will do that as well. It'll monitor your SpO2 levels, your average heart rate, all that kind of good stuff. I've got to admit, I personally don't see the point in sleep tracking because I don't need my smartwatch to tell me that I sleep like absolute shit. But if you're into it, then it does it. But anyway, that's pretty much it for apps here on the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro besides the usual alarms and timer gumpf. As for the battery, well, Xiaomi has managed to cram a 500 milliamp hour capacity cell into that tiny dinky chassis of the Watch S1 Pro. That's slightly bigger than what you find on the original Watch S1. And Xiaomi reckons that this will deliver up to two weeks of battery life from a full charge. I certainly found the battery life was a little bit better than that original Watch S1. I tended to get around six to seven days of use on a full charge. And that's with pretty much everything turned on, the always on display, all of the fitness tracking features, the 24 hour heart rate, the advanced sleep monitoring. So it's certainly on a par with the likes of the Huawei smartwatches and a significant improvement over the Samsung Galaxy watches, the Google Pixel watch and your general Wear OS efforts. And to charge the bugger back up again, well, you've got full wireless charging support, although I have found it's a little bit hit and miss on wireless charging pads. You're best off just using the bundle dock. And that right there, my lovelies, is my full unboxing and two-week review of the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro, a lovely little premium watch that's packed to the tits with some great features, but doesn't really do anything particularly new or novel compared with the slew of other Xiaomi and Huawei smartwatches that I've already tested. Some of the features like Alexa and that wireless payment can be glitchy or just not work at all in the case of the actual payment stuff. You don't get that same dedicated notification support you do from Wear OS, but on the flip side, it's generally more affordable than the likes of a Samsung Galaxy Watch and you get that brilliant battery life. So that's why I reckon anyway, it'd be great to hear your thoughts on the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro down below. Please do plug subscribe and dig that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you.